Example number two. I just want to start out by saying I empathize with you when you have to take a long time to re-punch in all of your uh, values in your charts. What happened was, this is the second time actually that I've made this video, because the first time was a crash and burn because I made one mistake in the way that I typed things in. So just to let you know, I understand your pain and there will be pain about this. What I want to do first is go into, um, I'm going to quit and I'm going to clear this and I'm going to say, okay, let's go to second catalog and let's make sure that our diagnostic on is on just in case that you have had, uh, just in case you've had to um, reset your RAM. So let's just, before we start, put our diagnostic on. Enter, enter, done, great. Just to reiterate, I, all I did was I went second to get to the catalog. Your buttons might look a little bit different. So let's uh, first get our uh, lists all done. So I'm going to go over to clear list. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say I want to clear list one. So I go second and then L1. So that clears the first one. And I'm going to go second. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go stat. I'm going to go stat, uh, clear list, or I can just type in four. And I'm going to say clear L2. Enter. Done. So then when I go back into my editor, my list editor here, it's all nice and fresh and new for me. What I also want to do is I want to go to my Y and make sure that nothing is in there. So I'm going to go clear. So I have something super fresh and new. Great. So example two, using linear regression to solve a problem that involves discrete data. In the previous question, we talked about continuous data because you can have, you know, 0.5 of a kilometer, but you can't in the same way you can't have 0.5 of something like a t-shirt. So Matt buys t-shirts for a company and prints art on the t-shirts and then it sells them. When buying t-shirts, the price Matt must pay is related to the size of order. Five of Matt's past orders are listed in the table below. This is our independent, which goes in our L1, and this is our dependent, which goes in our L2. So for if he, per, if he buys uh, 740 shirts, the cost per shirt is $1.69, whereas if he has a smaller order, like 200, he has to pay a higher price per shirt. Matt has misplaced the information from his supplier about the price discounts on bulk orders. Oh, Matt, he would like to get the price per shirt below $1.50. Now, he hasn't been able to do that yet, um, but let's see if we can help him out. So, item number one, use technology. Oh, there's the remnants of the last time I tried this video. We're just going to erase that. So, use technology to create a scatter plot, okay, and determine an equation using linear regression that, uh, using the linear regression function that models this data. B, what do the slope and y-intercept of the equation, uh, of the linear regression function, uh, represent in this context? and use the linear regression function to extrapolate uh, the size of order necessary to achieve a price of $1.50 per shirt. So first things first, let's start on A, and we're going to use uh, technology to create a scatter plot. So I'm going to go into my lists, uh, my table, so I go stat, and then enter, and go 500, enter, 700, enter, 200, enter, uh, 460, enter, 740, enter. Now I'm going to put in my next one, so 3.25, double check, all good. 1.95, double check, good. 5.20, double check, we're good. 3.51, Double check. Yeah, good. 1.69. I put 1.96 in the last video. I, 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 very easy. Done. Enter. So I've double checked everything. Everything looks good. 
So now let's see what it looks like on that graph. So I'm going to graph it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my window settings. Now my mat, my X min, okay, the minimum amount is uh, 200. So I'm just going to give it safe boundaries here. I'm going to put it at 100. And the highest number of shirts is 740. But let's let's extend it to 1,000. When we're dealing with our uh, X, the lowest is going to be 169. But we want to get it down to 150. So let's just let's just keep the Y minimum at zero. The maximum price that it would be would be five dollars and twenty cents so let's just keep it safe at six so when i graph it i should see oh look look at those little scatters look at those little little plots little points that are plotted now we're noticing that the line is not going up like this but it's going down which is as it should the more t-shirts you have the lower the cost is so what we want to do now is create the um, equation, the regression equation. So I'm going to go into my stat. I'm going to go calc. And I'm going to scroll down to lin reg ax plus b. Enter. And then we're going to go into vars, y vars. Enter, enter, enter. So what we have here actually is a perfect linear relation. Our R squared value is one, which is um, maybe doesn't mimic real life, but I think that they have created their cost per shirt on an algorithm. So it, it kind of makes sense that this would work. So the equation that we have here is y equals a, which is negative zero, uh, negative point six. <laughs> negative 0 0.0065. I'm just going to keep the whole entire thing here. X, don't forget that. Often people times uh, will forget that. Plus six B, which is positive 6.5. And this is our equation. Let's move on to uh, B. What do the slope and y-intercept of the equation of the linear regression function represent in this context? Well, the y-intercept... The y-intercept is when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, the number of shirts purchased is 0. So zero. Um, so in this specific context, context it means no shirts purchased. <laughs> this is kind of like the first initial cost in, say, a cab. Even before you set, uh, even before you close the door, there's a cost of three dollars and fifty cents. Um, and then there's an additional cost per um, cost per kilometer or portion of a kilometer after that. This is kind of the same thing. It's the initial uh, the initial cost. So if we were to look on our calculator here, let's look at our graph. Now we don't have see where that x intercept is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my window settings. And I'm going to make my max uh, sorry my x min negative 100 just so that we can see that um, x intercept. Oh, sorry, y-intercept when it in when it touches the y-axis. Ah, so I can't see it up here. That means I need to go up a little bit more. So I need to go window, and I need to make my y-max bigger. So I'm just going to put it at 9. And these are just, this is just me fiddling with the window settings. The fiddling with the window settings is actually quite the, uh, quite the skill that we need to master here. Ah, there we go. So when x equals 0, what does y equal? Now when we're given x equals 0, we are given the independent. So we can use um, a second trace and then value. So, 
second trace value. So we want to find out when x equals 0. What does y equal? It means that if you buy 0 shirts, okay, if you buy 0 shirts, um, it costs uh, $6.50. So this is the cost without any discount. Okay. So y intercept is 6.5. That means that each shirt is six dollars and fifty cents without discount. So what's a what's really important here is that we realize that we start out at six dollars and fifty cents and um, it goes down from there. Actually we want it to go down to one dollar and fifty cents per shirt. So the slope represents the decrease in price per shirt per additional shirt purchased. So there is a decrease for every additional shirt purchased um, uh, because, for example, when you uh, buy 200, the cost is $5.20 per shirt, whereas when you buy more, like uh, 740, the cost per shirt goes down to $1.69. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the graph that we had and we're going to find out the size of order that we need to achieve $1.50 per shirt. Now I just want to highlight something here. When we are given independent we can use second trace value. However, this time we are given our dependent. Okay. When I look at my cost here, uh, sorry, when I look at my list, uh, my table here, I'm noticing that it's in the dependent column. $1.50 per shirt. So when given dependent, what we need to do is something else. We need to say y2. So we're going to go into our, um, our graphing function here and we're going to plot in y2. And we're going to say equals one dollar and fifty cents. Now you're going to be able to use this method for anything. Um, chances are they're going to be giving you a value. So you just say that y2 equals that value because what we're doing now is we want to find the x value when y is uh, one one dollar and fifty cents. So I'm going to put 1.5 like this and I'm going to graph it. And my solution is the x value of where those two things intersect. So what the next step that I want to do is I want to go second and then trace. And then what I want to do is go into intersect. So I'm going to go second and this only works if the graph is, is shown. So second, trace, intersect. First curve, enter. Second curve, it just anticipates it. Enter. And then just say, yeah, okay, good, enter. And right here is where our intersection is. So when y is $1.50, it means that x is uh, 769.23 shirts. So essentially what we need to say here is you if it's 769, we don't quite get to the, the cost of $1.50. However, so when y equals 1.50, x equals 769.23, let me get the last one, 231 shirts.
but we need to have, since they're discrete, there's no such thing as um, a partial shirt. And even though that 0.23 is, uh, should be closer to 769, because it's 769 shirts and a bit, we have to say that um, the answer to this one is going to be 770 shirts must be purchased to receive a unit price of $1.50. So some of these, uh, some of these uh, methods of uh, calculating and going in using our graphing calculator might seem complicated and long, but I guarantee you, if you master them in this unit, we're going to use them in the next unit and in the next unit. So make sure that you uh, do a lot of the homework questions in the in the section uh, six point three in your textbook.